Hey guys, welcome to SS Unity Excel site. And today we are going to see about the variables inside the Azure Data Factory. In the previous videos of this video series, we have seen about the parameters and the system parameters and how we can use those in the real time. So if you haven't watched those videos, so I would strongly recommend to watch that video before going forward. So here, what is the variable? So variables are like internal to pipeline and they can be changed inside your pipeline. So we can understand like variables can be defined only on the pipeline level and we can modify the variables only at your pipeline level. We cannot have the access outside the pipeline. And variables are supporting into three data types like string data type, boolean data type and array data type. So go to on the browser and we'll see how we can create the variables. So here we have created this pipeline in previous videos. So here we can see on the pipeline level, we have created the parameters that you can see right here. And the next we can see the variables. So we can create the variables under the pipeline. And here we can see the variable option. So let me click on new and let me call this as server name. In the type, we can see it is supporting three data types like string data type, boolean data type and array data type. So I am going to use the string data type in this case. Next, we can see the setting and the output. So that is not required in our case. So, so now go to the copy data. So here we don't see the option to create the variables. So variables, as I told you, can be created only on the pipeline level. Let me quickly go on the data set level and we'll see there. So here we have the parameter option, but we don't have the option for the variables. Now go to on the connection level. So if we edit the connection, so in the connection, here we can see the option for the parameter. So we can create the parameter, but we cannot create the variables. So we can create the variables at the pipeline level only. And the difference between update at the runtime. So what it means? Let me publish this change and let me quickly try to run this pipeline. So while executing the pipeline, it will be asking only for parameter. So as publish is completed, let me go here and trigger it now. So here we can see the parameters. So it is asking the values for the parameters, but not for the variable that we have created. So this is the one difference and second variable can be created at the pipeline level and parameters can be created on pipeline level, task level, like at the source, that is the link service level, data set level, everywhere we can create the parameters, but variables only be created here. So in the next video, we will see how we can use this variable in the real time. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you really like this video, please subscribe our channel to get many more videos. Don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our newly uploaded videos. See you in the next video.